today um, we are going to talk about the armor of God. I had a friend recently remind me of this lesson and just wanted to share it with all of you. Um, so the armor of God, I know y'all heard us talk about the armor of God before, um, especially last year in vacation Bible school. Um, so this is what we're going to talk about today and how important it is as followers of Christ to have our armor on and be ready for battle. Um, so I want you to think about in the old days, Think about a warrior going into battle at night, going into battle. Um, imagine him going into battle without his armor on. Mm -hmm. You know, do you think he would stand a chance to win in that battle? No, because he's not protected. So that's not so important for them to put all of their armor on, their helmet, their breastplate, all those things to protect them. They were covered from head to toe so that they would not get injured in battle. Um, so today we're going to talk about the armor of God and how important it is for us to have that on so that we don't get injured and we don't get discouraged and hurt. I think there was, we sang a song or something. We did. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, for Vacation Bible School, this is a good time for that. Um, try to think back to our song last year about the armor of God, and we talked about the armor of God, and we had this part, which was, you know what that is? The breastplate. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, because of the, the breastplate of... Righteousness. Righteousness. Yeah. That's right. Okay. And we have the shield of faith. faith and the sword of the... Say so sword was the word. Mm -hmm. The okay. spirit. spirit. And then we have the belt of truth. 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 And the helmet of... Salvation. Salvation. So okay. all these different pieces of the armor of God. And it's like always, anytime I talk about the armor of God or read about it in the Bible, I think of that song. Like it starts playing in my head. Um, so we're going to talk about that today. So it's actually in the Bible. Ms. Jenny's going to turn here in Ephesians chapter 6. So New Testament. Mm -hmm. Let's see the back. Go to Galatians. All right. Great. Ephesians yep. 6. Ephesians 6. And we're going to read verses 11 and 12 first. And then we're going to stop. Okay. All right. So verse 11 says, Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Right. So if you don't have on your armor, the devil's going to win. Um, as followers of Christ, as Christians, we are in battle. And so it's important that we have our armor on so that we can stand up against Satan in that battle. So here's what we need to do. Here's how we need to put on our armor. So, if you'll read verses 13 through 18, it will tell us. Okay. Therefore, put on the full armor of God, so when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground, and after you have done everything, to stand. Stand firm, then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place, with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. We talked about being ready last week. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. And you said 18 too? All right, so we're going to pray in the Spirit on all occasions. I like that word, all. That means all the time. With all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. Right. So today we're going to look and see what it looks like for us to have our armor on and what it looks like when we don't have our armor on. And so all we're going to do is just use some oranges today. So we have some oranges here. Here's one that has the peeling on it. And here's one that has the peeling off. So today the peeling outside of the orange represents the armor. So first we're going to do the one without the armor on. So what do y'all think will happen when I put this orange into the water without its armor on? What do you think will happen? Let's find out. Ooh. What happened? It sunk, didn't it, right? So it went to the bottom. So do you think without his armor on, he has any chance to win spiritual battle against Satan? No, I was near trying to hold my breath. <laughs> no, yeah, he's, he's sinking, right? He's defeated. Um, so this represents the Christian who does not have their armor on, who has mm -hmm. not put on the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, the belt of truth, all those things. Um, 
So what you may be thinking when you see this is, well, Miss Kim, how do I make sure I have my armor on? I know there's not literally every morning I'm supposed to put an actual helmet on my head and wear it around every day or, um, you know, the belt of truth. No, there's not literal pieces of armor to put on, but it's what those pieces of armor represent. So what we're going to do is quickly go through what those pieces of armor represent and what the Bible tells us. So we're going to use this bag. And in this bag is the pieces of the armor, so I'm going to show you pull them out, and as she pulls them out, we'll look at them, and then we'll explain what they represent. Okay. So first, she has the shield of faith. Okay, so what do you think the shield of faith represents? Okay, that represents our faith and our trust in God, um, that He will protect us from Satan when He tries to put doubts in our mind, um, and that we are to have that strong faith, that belief in God to help us in that spiritual battle. Okay. All right. Belief in God. And all God is. Ooh, this is a big one. Ooh. All right. This is the breastplate of righteousness. All right. So the breastplate of right righteousness represents that when we are saved, we have Jesus in our heart. It is him who makes us good. Um, and it is that that we can hide behind Jesus and his goodness um, to protect us as well. He is our defense. He is what protects us. So he is our goodness. So just like last week when we learned about the ticket to heaven, there really wasn't a ticket. Right. But instead of God seeing our sins, he saw Jesus' right. sacrifice on the cross. So that's our breastplate of righteousness. Yes. So we have to have faith, Jesus' righteousness. Ooh, a little teeny tiny one. Ooh. This is the belt of truth. Yeah, so the belt of truth, what that represents is, here's the thing, Satan's full of lies, and he's going to come at you, and he's going to try to convince you of things that are not true. So it's important that we are prepared as Christians with the truth. So where do we find that truth at? We find the truth in the Word of God. We find it in listening to preaching and teaching about the Bible. We find it in memorizing, remembering Scripture, hiding it in our hearts. So that when Satan does come at us and try to, to convince us of things that aren't true, we are prepared with the belt of truth um, so that we can say, no, that's not true, Satan. You know, I know God loves me. So, all right. Let's see what the next thing is. Um, all right. This is the helmet of salvation. All right. So the helmet of salvation, we know that that is so important. Salvation being saved. Um, so that is what is going to protect our minds, okay? Jesus protects our minds, our way of thinking. Um, so it's important that we make sure that's a very foundational piece, very important piece that we need to make sure we have in our armor. That's why we say when we get saved, that's the beginning. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. And this represents, it says in the song that our feet are fitted with readiness, okay? So that means that we should be ready to go, ready to do whatever it is the Lord has called us to do. We need to be willing and ready to do it. So that's part of our armor as well. We need to be obedient. He's got a whole outfit here yes. going on. All right, here's the last one. All right, this is the sword of the spirit. Okay, so do y'all remember what we said the sword represents? What is our sword as believers? God's word. All right. So that is what we use um, in battle as well. If we know our Bible, we can be ready for that battle. So it's important that we read it. It's important that we memorize scripture. And it's important that we, what we talk about all the time, apply it, which means do what it says um, in our lives. So it's important that we do all those things. All right. So that is our own. We need to make sure we've done all those things. When we have that armor God on, of God on, then we are ready for battle. Um, lastly, that verse 18, we read that verse again? Yes. Jenny? And pray in the Spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. Right. So at the end of that scripture, it tells us we need to pray. Prayer is so important as well. When we talk to the Lord, we get to know Him better. And we can tell Him, Lord, we need your help in this battle. Um, because that's it. We are in a battle every day as Christians. Um, but with God on our side, we will win. Um, so, now, 
let's look what happens to the orange that has its armor on. Okay, what's going to happen to it, you think, when we put it in the water? Do you think it will sink as well? With, I would think it'd be heavier because, I mean, it's got all that extra stuff on. You would think? Let's find out. All right, what's going to happen to it? Whoa. It's not sinking. And it's definitely not on that other orange. Look at all that no. space in there. Yeah. That's so cool. It's floating. All right, it's staying up. Okay, it's winning that battle. He has on his armor of God. All right, so that's what it looks like when we as Christians have our armor on. We are covered from our head to our toe, ready for battle, and we are protected. Um, in Isaiah 54, 17, it says that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Um, so when we are being obedient to the Lord, when we are staying in touch with Him, staying in contact with Him, nothing that comes against us will prosper. Um, he is our protection. He is our defense. And so in studying this lesson and getting ready for this week, Ms. Jamie, it's like the Lord just kept giving me worship songs in my mind that just like speak to this. So I just wanted to share them with y'all. That maybe when you're finished today or throughout this week, something that you can just, you know, turn on and listen to. It just is encouragement and to reflect. Um, so the first one is the armor of God song that we sang in Bible school last year. So that's a good one to turn on and listen to. Um, that song, I'm going to see a victory. Mm -hmm. Love that song. Um, and then another one is This Is How I Fight My Battles. So I think all those are so good. And there's many more as well. But y'all, God is so good. And so we need to stay connected with Him every day. Be intentional. Make time to spend with Him. To read His Word. Um, to think on things that are pure. And how blessed we are through His Son Jesus and what He's done for us. Have our arm on and we'll be ready for battle. So now, we're going to turn it over to Ms. Jane. And she's going to tell us about Kids Learning Kids Connect for this week. Alright. So... We want to see what you guys can do this week from this lesson. So first of all, share it. Just like we talked about last week, you always want to be ready. This is something simple that you can share with other Christians and even with people that aren't saved because they got to start with that coming of salvation, right? So use this. Use this. Practice it. And this is also a good reminder for ourselves because we all get discouraged sometimes and we have to remind ourselves of that truth. So when we practice these things like this, of course, with a parent's permission, um, it's going to help us remind ourselves and be able to share it with other people. Now, we could easily turn this into a little game. And I want to let you know that on Thursday night, so tomorrow night, Kids Connect, there's going to be a special guest. Okay? Yes. A special guest that you guys can interact with. And I'm going to let him know that you guys have been studying this. So he may have a little quiz or a game for you guys. For that, so that's going to be something you work on. This is memorizing, memorizing those pieces of armor. All right, and then finally, I want you to be intentional. I want you to put on that armor every day. First thing in the morning, try to read your word. Pray. Be ready to um, worship God. Ready to share the gospel. Take that sword of um, the Spirit and your shield of faith, and have it ready for you when you have it on every day. So, that's it. All right, guys. So we just want to encourage y'all in that. Make sure you're armoring up every day and ready for battle. And we'll see you tomorrow night for Kids Connect at 7 o'clock. Right. Bye, y'all. Bye.